Now, you've all got the details ready, and now what you're going to want to do is grab a thick black pen and start doing the outlines for this drawing. Now, I would physically start off at the ear, as it's an easy place to start off. Make sure that when you're colouring in the lines, make sure that you don't go over the lines you do not need to keep, as this will cause distractions at a later time. Now you've finished the outlining for your drawing, you might want to get rid of the nasty pencil lines in the background. That's where your rubber comes in handy. So, you want to start taking away the lines which you drew before, which you do not want to keep in this picture. As you can see, if you've got all your outlines in the right place, you shall start to see the stick you want to have on your drawing table. Hands on your hips, now follow my lead. Now, you've got your outline for your drawing, but it looks a bit plain. So, for this, you're going to want to start colouring it in. As I stated in the first part of the project, you can either use pencils or colouring felt tips. My personal best would be use Adobe Photoshop, but you guys might not know how to use that. Now, for this, you'll need some light blue, dark blue, maybe even a bit of red and pink to colour in this project. Now I'll start off by using a light blue for the outside of the eye, as this makes Stitch's eye look more realistic, and in the final project, will give a lot of tone towards the Stitch character. Once you have finished with that, you can use a dark blue as this is the fur colour for Stitch's coat. It's going to be really hard to do and leave some of the outlines, but don't worry about that. As long as you do the right colours and keep it in the outlines, you'll be fine and you'll be having a perfect stick in no time. So, once you've finished, you should have something that looks a little like this. So, let's go over what we've just learned. In the first stage, we covered utensils and what you need to carry on with this project. In stage two, we cover main outlines such as the ears, face shape, and the guidelines needed to carry on with the drawing. In stage three, we did the secondary outlines on the eyes, mouth, nose, and ears. In stage four, we covered eye details, nose details, and hair spikes. On stage 5 we talked about outlining our drawing as we had finished and in stage 6 we covered colouring our drawing. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you continue to draw stitch. Show your friends and teach your parents how to do it because they'd be even more impressed. So keep practicing and keep drawing and one day you might be able to do it as good as me. Goodbye.